So, ladies and gentlemen, after discussing Rahu and Saturn, we are back with Ketu, best and the worst placements for Ketu. But before I begin, I must say, I have been saying this repeatedly, don't judge things in black and white. Look at your overall chart and only then you can know if a planet is good or bad. But if the overall chart is not very good and if you have these placements for these specific planets, then you know that these are really difficult placements. But don't just see one thing and declare, all right? That's not how astrology works, okay? But once I assume you have seen your overall chart and then you look at these placements, now you can judge, all right? So first we'll talk about the best placements, then the worst placements. So which is one of the best placements? The first best placement is K2 in the fifth house. Now again, Fifth house is an exceptionally powerful house. It is probably the most important house in the entire horoscope because the fifth house is the house which tells you who you are. So now K2 represents things which you have already achieved in the past lifetimes. So this means if K2 is in the fifth house, then it is like you are more connected to yourself. But there is a catch here. There's a disclaimer. This can be the worst placement also. Or it can be the best. But when does it turn to be the best? It is when you do spiritual practices. Understand, Ketu is all about spirituality. So, in any of this video, if you want to hear things like, you know, money, millionaire, billionaire, romance, love, then you are in the wrong place. Please walk out of the video. You will not find it. This is a pure spiritual video. Alright? If you are still interested, please stick to it. So now, Ketu in the fifth is the best placement if you chant mantras every day. If you don't chant mantras, you may not chant every day, but you should have some frequency of chanting. If you chant every day, then you will be absolutely in tune with yourself. And when you are in tune with yourself, then you actually know that this is what is good for me, this is what is not good for me, this is where my strengths are, this is where my weaknesses are. So, the fifth house is the house of the sun, right? Because fifth sign is originally the sign Leo. Therefore, when Ketu is in the fifth house, there is illumination. There is knowledge about the self, provided the person does spiritual practices. So, if you have Ketu in the fifth and you think, oh, you are not like this, then maybe you need to do spiritual practices or else this can be a very difficult placement. It can cloud everything that you know about yourself, okay? The next placement is indeed the fifth from the fifth, which is the ninth house. K2 in the ninth house is again one of the best placements because ninth house is where all the divinity of the universe is. Ninth house is where you find things higher than yourself, which is God Himself, right? Your Guru, your God, your Ishta Devata, God, everybody, all divine elements are in the ninth house. Now, if K2 is in the ninth, you will see a person is generally doing some spiritual practices. Why? Because it shows that the person has done considerable uh, spiritual practices in his or her previous lifetimes and now the person has greater possibility to, to continue that. Okay. So therefore, if you talk from a spiritual perspective, this is um, undoubtedly the best placement, even better than a fifth house. Okay. But again, if Ketu is there in the ninth and you are not doing spiritual practices, then it can mean, you know, you might have quarrels with your father or with your gurus. You, yeah, I mean, worst case, you might, you may be cheated by some, you know, fake guru. Okay. So these are problems which can come. Okay. So be, uh, be conscious with this placement. It can make you very spiritual, but it can make you a bit blind sometimes. Blind in the sense, you know, you are just following somebody. So therefore, use your intelligence and then follow your guru. All right. Now, the third best placement is the fourth house. Why the fourth house? Because fourth house is the house of knowledge. It is, it is the original uh, sign of education, right? House of education. So fourth house, ninth house, eleventh house, fifth house. These are houses of education. So, if K two is in the fourth house, then what happens is you have a very strong hunger for education, and then you you become like Agastya Muni who drank the oceans, okay? So therefore, if you have kids in the fourth, and if you feel that you are not able to understand what life is, how life is, then please read the scriptures, the Vedas, Upanishads, Puranas, or at least 
you may not be able to read everything at least read the bhagavad gita and shrimad bhagavatam that is something which anybody can read okay so therefore ketu in the fourth is exceptional for becoming like a rishi with a lot of knowledge so don't forget ketu in the fourth very important placement the next ketu in water signs or fire signs so which are fire signs we have aries leo sagittarius right and then we have the water signs of cancer scorpio pisces so ketu does fantastic uh, fantastic in these signs why because one is the sign of illumination which are the fire signs and the other is the sign of absorption so ketu is very happy when he is either illuminated or absorbed so what happens when you are closing your eyes you are absorbed right when you opening your eyes there is light the light falls into your eyes and you see things right so that that means ketu likes to be either awake <laughs> or absorbed right it does not like in between okay so therefore if you have ketu in one of these six sign, uh, signs then uh, it means you 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 can either be absorbed or you can be illuminated okay very 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 good placements now ketu with jupiter this is the fifth best placement ketu with jupiter or aspected by jupiter or in signs of jupiter jupiter rules sag and pisces right sagittarius pisces so when ketu is aspected or conjunct jupiter or in the signs of jupiter or in the original 5th house 9th house original in the sense you know as from the ascendant if it is in the 5th or 9th as we already discussed so if somehow jupiter is related to ketu then what it hap- what it means is that you are now blessed to continue your spiritual journey even in this lifetime so whichever house planet sign ketu uh, jupiter aspects that house is blessed for this particular lifetime so if you are aspected by if your ketu is aspected by jupiter then it means you will carry on your spiritual practices from your previous lifetimes and there will be nobody to stop you and therefore this is one of the best placements okay now what are some of the worst placements one of the worst placements is ketu in dusthana houses contrary to popular belief that ketu in 12th gives you moksha well i have spoken on it before ketu in 12th can give you moksha but in general it gives you a lot of things to lose okay uh, so for example it can strip away things from uh, sixth house it can give you like you know crazy diseases which you have never heard eighth house you know horrendous candles it can give you so ketu in dusthanas can be a good placement provided you are very tough inside you know you are like how okay, can i am ready to see anything and everything that is supposed to come if you are at that level then ketu in dusthanas may not be very bad but it will rip you off certainly but will you get ripped or not <laughs> that your own self uh, you know your self discipline your strength uh, your capacity your power that will tell you okay but in general for 99.9999% of the public they are not very spiritual so these placements are very difficult for k2 okay provided the chart is also weak so if the chart is very strong and then you have k2 here then then also you get blows but you can come out of it okay and if your chart is extremely highly spiritual then ketu in 12th may be good contrary to popular beliefs you know ketu in 12th is like oh you are done you know do whatever you want in life be like dogs and cats you know and you'll get moksha you know? that's the illusion of youtube astrology right nonetheless the next worst placement <laughs> to ketu is ketu in the 7th or connected to the 7th lord okay this is a very difficult placement because ketu is a planet that wants to find itself now when it wants to find itself if ketu is associated with the seventh house then it's like saying you are trying to find yourself through other people this does not work because then you get exploited okay so when you seek validation from others beyond a certain extent either you suffer or they suffer and eventually both suffers right so therefore if you have ketu in the seven one of the most difficult things to do is to not identify yourself through others okay 
try to maintain a healthy sense of self esteem that is very 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 important otherwise oof k2 in 7 can be a difficult place when because it can force you to get into addictions or scandals you know sexual scandals you know extramarital affair why why are you do doing extramarital affair think 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 you will say oh rahu in 7 gives extramarital affair no yeah, yeah desire is more yeah that's there <laughs> but ketu in 7 can also give you because you are trying to not actually enjoy somebody else but you are trying to find yourself okay this person doesn't like me maybe she likes me maybe he likes me maybe they like me this this so then you you become like an animal right so therefore it's a very difficult placement uh, please do your mantras regularly if you want to improve okay very 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 challenging placement though now number 3 ketu connected to mercury or venus or was it's both <laughs> why this is one of the worst placements because mercury venus represents things that break your meditation right mercury represents wealth and influence and venus represents sexuality you know opposite sex and all this uh, needless to say so what happens imagine you are meditating you know what happened to vishwamitra muni you know when he was meditating and he heard the sound chunuk 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 three times <laughs> i don't know how many times he heard but he heard the sound of the ankle bells you know the payal so when he heard the sounds of this great apsara menaka what happened his meditation broke so anything that breaks your meditation ketu does not like okay so what happens when mercury venus cover you up you get affected by you know kama and lobha and all this you know all the anarthas come basically right as krishna says in gita kama esha krodha esha rajoguna samul says kama is the worst enemy of the mankind right arjuna asks what is the worst enemy of mankind krishna says lust right and then when you indulge in lust you know you indulge in physical relation then you have to get married then you have you know you have to work you will have car bungalow all this you know and it, it will keep expanding okay so therefore ketu feels that mercury venus will take away things from you okay you means your spiritual practice okay so therefore <clears throat> uh, it is very important that you uh, try to do spiritual practices to not fall into the trap of mercury venus okay very 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 important now number 4 ketu in air signs or earth signs okay so what are earth signs are the signs okay we know them right all the all the remaining six signs they come into airy and are the signs so therefore if ketu is in you know uh, taurus or virgo or capricorn or it's in gemini libra aquarius then this can be a problematic situation because these signs contain the energy of mercury and venus so the same problem might occur you might want to find yourself through luxuries and you know sex pleasure you know like hovering around the same thing again and again and again and again you are still not able to find because that's not where the answer is okay the answer is somewhere else but you are trying to find it somewhere else so then you are thinking oh, what's going on you know i'm not finding when will i find it where will i find it maybe not with this person with that person he she he she they whatever <laughs> and then you don't find because that's not where the answer is the answer is somewhere else that's not where the answer is that is not where pleasure is all right so therefore be watchful of this tendency and the worst placement ketu in lagna <laughs> you are thinking what the hell is this king ketu in seventh is where in the lagna is also where what the hell is this seventh you said Oh, he said, you know, trying to find yourself through others is bad. So, uh, so the Ketu in Lagna should be the best place, right? Well, certainly not. Ketu in Lagna can be very good, but in general, it can be very difficult because most of the people they don't know who they they are. So, if you perfectly know who you are, if you are perfectly aware of your strengths, weaknesses, and limitations, then what happens is you are. like a sthita pragya then ketu in the first is excellent but 99.9% of the people don't belong to that category they are just hovering around like animals because everybody else is doing something okay so then this is a very difficult placement so therefore if you have ketu in lagna i don't care what is there in your chart who is where just forget it just do spiritual practices 
please do it diligently okay and otherwise you will try to find yourself through yourself but if you don't know you so suppose you are trying to find somebody but you don't know where that person is how will you find so therefore it is a problem if you try to find yourself through yourself or through others also so the one seven axis is very daunting for rahu and ketu both okay so therefore if you have these placements the negative ones especially please uh, do spiritual practices and that will ensure you are making the best use of a bad bargain all right thank you so much don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're new jai siaram jai ketu maharaj jai rahu maharaj <laughs>